So usually I do these videos after I've finished um, emotionally processing and when it's easier for me to talk about. Um, but I'm in the middle of processing through some emotions right now and I'm not sure how to feel. Sometimes I'm angry, sometimes I'm really sad. I think right now I'm really, I'm sad <laughs> and I'm upset. So I figured why not talk about it because sometimes this is something that can be very difficult for people to talk about. So anybody who's been following my video series knows that uh, I've had some abdominal pain that I went to see a doctor for. I've been waiting to see referrals to specialists. Um, but a few weeks ago, about a month ago, I, I, took, I got my partner to take me to urgent care because I was having uh, so much pain that I just I couldn't take it. And I thought, you know what? Why are you waiting? Why am I waiting for these things? I, I just, this is a lot of pain to deal with. So we went and a doctor ordered some tests and he was very concerned, it was very nice. And he ordered a CT scan. And last week I called my doctor to actually discuss the results with her and I was told that I wasn't going to get a phone call because my results were normal. But I insisted that I wanted to get a copy of the results because I wanted to see them for myself. I wanted to see what they said. Part of the results uh, turned out that I have two hernias. And I'd suspected for a while that I had, but I, you know, was having trouble having someone hear me to, to send me to get a, a proper diagnosis. And she looked at me and she goes, well, but you knew you had those, right? And I looked at her and I said, well, no, I've been in pain for a long time and I've been trying to get it diagnosed. And she kind of dismissed it and then we talked about other things and I was really taken aback and my children had come with me so they had been witness to that. I wasn't the only person. And... You know, I felt relieved um, that finally, after all this time, that I've known something wasn't right, that I had a diagnosis for those and there's something I could do about it. But I was also kind of angry because it made me wonder, um, you know, how many other tests that I've had that are considered normal or within normal range and I didn't have a discussion about them because, um, you know, I trusted her judgment and you want to trust your doctor's judgment. That's why you have them and you hope that they're on your side. And, you know, I, I'm a little angry for myself because I had given my power away to the things that she kept telling me over the years. It's just that I needed to lose weight, that I needed to eat right. All things that I was trying to do anyway, but I kept having this chronic pain pop up and which made it difficult. And so... You know, I'm sort of angry that I gave my power over to something or someone when I knew that I should have pushed a little more to advocate for myself because over the years I've advocated for my athletes that I train, I've advocated for my children, and I'd advocated for all these people and I hadn't done it for me. And tonight I'm just, I'm feeling upset <laughs> because there's so many things that I want to do right now. and. I'm in pain almost every day and there's certain um, medications that I can't take because um, you know they don't they don't want me to right now so um, I'm tired a lot too so as much as it's a relief to finally know and know that there's something I can do I'm just really upset at how much that I've had to slow down and I've had to really learn how to ask for help from my children from my ex-husband, from friends, from people, and even though I thought that I was doing pretty good, you know, and asking for help, when you really have to, um, you know, get more help and you want to be more able-bodied, um, it's, it's really hard for me. And so I'm having a difficult time because there are so many things that I wish that I could go, go, go. And I guess that's part of the problem is that I have been on the go for a lot of my life. I'm a very, I was always a very active person. But to know that I've put, you know, when you think that you've taken care of yourself, but maybe you haven't done as good a job as you would have, you know, as you thought. Um, and now it's my turn to slow down and have people, you know, help me. Um, kind of turning the tables around is a little different. And you know, I, there's things that I want to do, and I guess tonight I'm just, I'm still processing through the fact that this is, this is going to be a whole process. Nothing's going to be fixed overnight. There's still some things that we're investigating. And to know that, you know, I just have to take it one day at a time.
and not be upset, even though I am right now, that I have to go slowly and I have to just pace myself more, even though with, uh, you know, having a couple companies and <laughs> there's so much that I want to do that, you know, I, I just have to go slowly and not push myself and make sure that I'm, that really make sure that I'm taking care of myself and asking for help all the time. So I guess tonight I'm just, I'm not, I don't feel as if I'm spiraling downward, but this is me processing through those feelings of, you know, sort of being angry and the grief and also the relief that I'm finally getting answers and to know that there's an end in sight, that there'll be something that I can do about them. And I guess the message that I want to give to anybody is that, you know, doctors may try your best. Some of them are really good. Some of them might dismiss you. But the thing is, don't dismiss yourself. If you feel that something's not right, if you feel that, you know, you want a second opinion, you are entitled to that. It is your body, it is your health, that I want you do not feel like you're alone. If you can bring people to you, uh, to appointments with you is good because it's always good to have another person hearing what's going on. But just to advocate for yourself and to listen to sometimes the stories that you know other people are saying. And if they don't resonate with you or they're not, you don't feel that they're true, to you know, keep looking, keep digging, and like keep asking, keep talking. Um, just you know, get yourself the help that you need, and that's what I'm doing. And I just wanted to share. So the first part of this video I shot uh, a couple of days ago, and what I wanted to do was just to show um, what it's like when I'm in the middle of processing something emotionally. And the reason I did that is because it's okay to feel things. And in my life, you know, I've often suppressed how I felt, whether it's anger or anything that made me sad or fearful, especially I would suppress them, I wouldn't feel them. So part of my ongoing um, commitment to myself and to my healing is to actually feel emotions when they come up. and. I was upset on Friday, processing through um, some of those things. And it wasn't to have a pity party. I don't want to stay upset. But it's learning the process of allowing myself to feel something and then to move through it. And over the last couple of days, I think yesterday I was talking with my son and I was playing the video um, for my kids and just wanting their feedback. And I said to them, um, to my son and daughter, and I said, you know, um, I don't know if I'm going to post this. I don't know if I'm going to uh, to show this to anyone. And my son said, well, why not? And I said, well, I don't know. I'm maybe a little worried about what people would think. And then, you know, I started talking specifically about some people, you know, that I cared about their opinions. And my son said, well, but why do you care about their opinion? I mean, their perspective is just their perspective. And you know that you're working through your things. And... I said, you're right. And, then and he said, uh, we went back and he's like, well, what about, you know, we talked about in my childhood or in my marriage, how I felt maybe about sharing my perspective. And I realized that in my life, a lot of times um, I have felt as if other people want me to see their perspective. They want me to feel their perspective. And then I'm not really welcome to share mine. And... I have felt a lot that I've given my power over to that. And in some ways, I have given my power over to other people's perspectives. And part of that is has to do with doctors or other people who have helped me tremendously at one point. And then without even realizing it, I was giving my power to them that they had answers that I didn't have. And what I'm really processing through today 
and I've been doing this for a little while, but I think it's solidifying a little more for me, is that people's perspectives are their perspectives, and everyone has a different one because we're all different people. And I think that you can use other people's perspectives to broaden your own because I did a post, I'm not sure if it was a video, on how you can actually get stuck in your own perspective and you can only see the world one way from your perspective and when we close ourselves off to even hearing anyone else or that anyone else has another perspective then we're not doing ourselves any justice however then the flip side of that for me anyway is that I have often given over my power to other people uh, other people's perspectives like oh that's the only one I'm supposed to have and I think in this case where some of my anger came from too was realizing that you know my doctor had helped me tremendously quite a number of years ago when I was pregnant and I I had trusted that I was always going to get the results that I needed and being a busy mom of four kids and then going through a divorce there were just certain things where I did not have the emotional capacity to deal with and that was part of me avoiding the physical pain that I had because if people were saying they couldn't find it and I wasn't listening to myself and I was telling myself that I didn't have time to deal with it and so when someone said well we can't find anything and it's normal I'm like well forget it and that's not the message that I want my children to have. It's not the message that I want other people to have. And I think sometimes we do give our power over to other people's perspectives, especially if it's in a medical capacity or any kind of healing capacity. And what we need to do is reclaim that for ourselves, reclaim that I have the power. I don't quite have the power to diagnose myself with things, uh, but I do have it in my power to get a second opinion if I am not comfortable or something doesn't feel right to me. I have the power to seek other medical treatment for things if I don't agree with how someone's treating me. And I think that's where, you know, sometimes we give our power away to other authority figures or just other people in general who might be important to us or just in some way. And I know I'm in the process of reclaiming that is that you know broadening my own perspective with other people's perspectives and feeling out what is right for me that sometimes uh, someone else's perspective may not resonate with you and that's okay and sometimes people's perspectives may resonate with you a little and then it will trigger you to feel something deeper with inside of yourself and I think that's the key if anything to listen to other people's perspectives and feel what it triggers inside of you, whether it's an emotional reaction or, oh, hey, I didn't see it from that angle. Wow, I'm going to look at that. And then I'm going to see how this fits now for me because it's a bigger picture. So I suppose that that's it. I'm going to I'm going to leave it with that. And as, as always, co uh, comments are welcome, uh, questions, and I look forward to interacting with you. Take care.